hell? I've told you everything I know. Don't you think it's time for you to go looking for him? Not that I care, obviously. What do you want? We're here to ask about Rawat. Any idea where he might be? We were told you were pretty close with him. Close? <laughs> Not sure that's the word I'd use. He wouldn't even let me use his patent. Huh? It's been a good few days since I last saw him. I don't know where he's at. Go ask someone else. Um, would the patent in question happen to be related to the new skincare product he developed? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Butterfly do, or whatever he calls it. <laughs> I heard he made a tidy sum off of that one. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Keep going. Most of the other researchers here focus on mechanics, energy, stuff like that. I get why he wouldn't be interested in having anything to do with them. But I'm studying coatings. There's a huge overlap in our areas of research. Why would he refuse to work with me? I bought his product once, and noticed it contains a unique substance that might have applications and coatings, too. If it worked out, I could probably make as much as he's making. Don't get me wrong, I had no intention of plagiarizing his work. I was hoping to get official permission to use his findings in my own research. Followed the proper procedure, it was all above board. I would have had to pay him a license fee and everything. But despite that, he turned me down not once, not twice, but three times. It's like he's vehemently opposed to the idea of anyone else making the kind of money he does. Huh, so is Rawat antisocial, or is this guy just jealous? Well, it doesn't look like we're gonna get any info about Rawat's whereabouts from him. Let's go! Uh, wait, one second. Mr. Antibes? Next time you go shopping, you should buy some Buell fruits. Peel the skin, steep in water, then drink. It'll help calm your mood. Huh? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Gonna have to cut this chat short. I have a patent application to write. Who's asking? Just some concerned citizens helping out the Mara Shosei Phantom with an investigation. We'd like to ask you about Rawat's whereabouts, if that's okay. We're told the two of you are pretty close. Not anymore, we're not. Turns out we don't see eye to eye. Oh yeah? What happened? <sighs> the thing about us researchers is, most of us do what we do for some sort of higher purpose. But not Rawat. All he cared about was how to commercialize his findings. He won't even let you work with him unless you sign a confidentiality agreement first. Also, he has better control over who gets which intellectual property rights. How are you supposed to get any meaningful research done working with a guy like that? Now that I've got my own technical solution for my compressor, I don't need to work with him anymore. So that's what Rawat is really like. We still like to know where to find him. Is that something you can help us with? Wait, you're... Yeah, I know you. You're the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede. All right, then I'm happy to help you if I can. I respect the work you do. Medicine serves the highest purpose of all the sciences. Wow, turns out sea has got some real clout! Thing is, I have no real way of knowing where he might be. I stopped working with him two months ago, and I've barely seen him since. 
but if you want my advice, I'd say go talk to the peddlers. There's a few he meets with every other day or so. Maybe they know where he's at. Peddlers? Yeah. Back when I was working with him, I noticed he met with them quite often. Wouldn't surprise me if they were involved in some shady business together, because it seemed like they went out of their way to avoid discussing anything in my presence. The little I overheard was about manufacturing and selling pharmaceutical drugs. Like I said, he's all about the money. Drugs? Doesn't he work with skincare products? Do those count as drugs? Who knows? I never cared to find out. He's the morgue rubber, not me. Thank you. You've given us plenty to work with. Welcome. Goodbye. And may we both reach new heights in our scientific endeavors. Well, that's all three researchers. Let's head back to the meetup point. If my research project works out, the development of underwater spaces should become much easier. with a friendly and cheerful personality. It's such a surprise to learn that his peers have a different impression of him. So, what's your view of him now, Paimon? Hmm... A handsome researcher whose difficult upbringing turned him into a profit chaser with a chip on his shoulder? So, your thoughts about his appearance haven't changed at all? Well, his looks are kind of a big deal. At least in Paimon's opinion. How does such a handsome guy end up being so antisocial? Even with his difficult family background, it just doesn't make any sense. You can't judge a person solely based on their appearance. Head nurse. Traveler. I assume you've spoken with the researchers. What did you find out? Bertram mentioned Rawat's involvement with some pharmaceutical merchants. Do you know if he's registered any pharmaceutical brands? Since he was a whistleblower on such a huge case, I ran a background check on him. Hmm. I don't remember there being any brands under his name. Hmm, how strange. If he was so focused on commercializing his research and averse to sharing his technology with others, why wouldn't he have registered his own brands? Maybe he and his business partners needed to avoid public scrutiny? You think he may have colluded with the gang? Hmm... Well, the crime was manufacture and sale of drugs, and that would certainly be in his wheelhouse. We can't rule it out. Isn't that pretty unlikely, though? He was the one who blew the whistle on them! Most children who come to me with tooth decay have suffered pain for a long time already, but they'll still try to hide the fact that they eat too many sweets. Grown-ups and children aren't so different in that regard. Hmm... If you say so! I saw him when he came to make his report, and I certainly didn't get the feeling that he was the type to collude with criminals. Perhaps it's more likely that they were coercing him. You mentioned that he comes from a poor family. So? It's possible that the criminals approached him, asking for academic support, luring him in with the promise of riches. By the time he discovered who they really were, he was in too deep. They had leverage on him, so he was forced to keep working for them. <laughs> I've seen it happen many times before. That does make a lot of sense! It would definitely explain why he was so unwilling to cooperate with his fellow researchers. No wonder he's so unsociable. He must be on edge all the time with a gang of crooks breathing down his neck. In that case, the situation could be worse than we thought. If Rawat was working with the escaped inmates, they're sure to know more about his whereabouts than us. Oh, there's a good chance they'll get to him before we do. Based on the information we've gathered so far, he was last seen two days ago. If no one's seen him since, Maybe we're... too late. Two days ago? 
So he went missing right after that product promotion. That was the same day he reported the criminals, too. <sighs> Not a good sign. Hmm. Don't worry, everyone. I believe we still have a chance. Since he disappeared right after blowing the whistle, it's likely that he's gone into hiding. Yeah, he must have been worried that they'd come for him. All the more reason to find him as soon as possible. The only lead we have at the moment is his mother's house, which you mentioned earlier. Seath, think you can find the place? Yep. <laughs> when you register a brand, the Court of Fontaine requires you to provide a legal address. The one Rawat wrote down was in the outskirts of the city. That should be the place. Hm. Okay, then there's no time to lose. Let's move. This should be the house. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this was the address. <sighs> okay. I'll knock. <gasps> Sounds like whoever's inside has restricted mobility. Well, it seems serious. Well, what's the fastest way to get this door open? Um, break the door down? No, no. I'll handle it. Let the expert deal with it. There'll be a mountain of paperwork if we damage a citizen's property. <sighs> Calm down. Deep breaths. Remember your training. Control your strength. And... It's open! Seath, take a few people and lie in wait. Keep your eyes peeled for any activity around the house. The Traveler, Head Nurse, and I will go inside. No! Don't look this way! I'm supposed to be hiding, remember? Captain's orders! There, on the bed, there's an old lady. That's gotta be Rawat's mother, right? She doesn't look like she's in any state to be answering our questions, though. We could try, but she is very ill. We mustn't force it. <sighs> well, doesn't look like Rawat's here. She's the only one we can talk to. Yep. Allow me. Hello, ma'am. Might I ask if you're Rawat's mother? We are trying to locate him. <laughs> Hard of hearing, perhaps. 
Uh, does anyone have a picture of her what? I have one here. I'd like to show you a photo, ma'am. Is this your son? Do you know where he is? <coughs> Looks like this isn't gonna work after all. <sighs> well... Looks like we're out of leads. If Rawat's not here... Things are looking very bad for him. Is it possible he could have avoided returning here because he knew he'd be in danger? Maybe. But if so, where do we look next? Maybe we should take another look at the Institute. Yes, so? I suggest we all return there now. We found a good amount of useful information the first time, but perhaps there's something we missed. This is our last hope. Sorry, officer, but could I stay here for a while? This patient requires some care. Of course. A traveler, stay with the head nurse. You're technically here as her assistant, after all. Also, I'd like some Mara Chaussee members to stay as well and keep an eye on the area. Why's that? If Rawat knows how serious his mother's condition is, he will return. Got it. Okay, I'll tell the squad members in hiding to stay put and keep a lookout. Thanks for helping me out yet again, Traveler and Paimon. No problem. But when you say her condition is serious, do you mean... Yes. She is barely clinging on to life. Oh. Let me take care of a few things first. Could you pass me the towel over there? Yeah, of course. I can tell that her family has tried a lot of different treatment methods, including some very expensive medicines. Unfortunately, her condition is so multifaceted that a recovery looks all but impossible. See, Dween. I'm on bets being a nurse must be pretty tough at times like this. Yes. It makes me a little sad. In Amelazine's eyes, a human's birth, aging, sickness, and death are as much a part of natural law as sunrise and sunset. But human medicine can defy that law to some extent. In that sense, it is a science of miracles. That is why I became fascinated with it in the first place. But it was only after I truly became a doctor that I realized miracles don't always happen. Even the greatest doctors cannot cure all diseases. See, Dween. Well, don't worry about me, Paimon. A doctor's duty is not to cure all diseases, but to treat whatever ailments they can. At the very least, I can lower her fever. That way she'll suffer less, and she might even be able to see her son. Yeah. All the more reason to find Rewat as soon as possible, even if we don't catch those crooks. Her fever is getting worse. Could I get some hot water? Sure, we're on the case. I'll take care of her. the hot water? Sure did. And look what else we found. Judging by this journal, it seems like Rawat has a private lab. There's a good chance he could be there right now. We gotta go tell Officer Morgan right away. Oh, that's
That's great news. But hold on just a moment. The wet towel is ready. I'm giving you another injection. Are you feeling better now? <coughs> oh, it's all right. We'll go bring him back. Please hang in there. Thank you.